We bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I welcome you all. Shalom. Children of faith. Uh, at this time, I want to send this message to you. The Lord wants us to be born as a second Adam. To be born as the second Adam is only through Christ Jesus. Because Christ Jesus is the second Adam, according to revelations of Paul in the book uh, of 2nd, 1st Corinthians, uh, chapter number 15. 1st uh, Corinthians, chapter number 15, and uh, uh, verses uh, 47. He said this way. This is what he said. Paul spoke this way. The Spirit of God, Paul speaks through Paul. He said, the first man was of the earth made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of the dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as in the heavenly man, who is the second man, so also are those who are heavenly. Then the Lord wants us to be born in the heavenly man, the second Adam, because the first Adam was from the dust who out of sin, they perish. Remember in the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verse, uh, chapter 2 and verse number 16, we are commanded of, for all the tree you may eat, but for the tree of knowledge and good and evil or and bad, you shall not eat because the day you eat, you will die. Then when a man partake the tree, of knowledge of good and evil, man surely die. So the offspring that remained inside man was an offspring of the serpent. That's where you read in the book of Genesis, the book of Genesis uh, chapter number 3, uh, Genesis 3. Genesis 3, let's go very fast. Genesis chapter 3 and verse number 15. We are seeing God is put, I will put the enmity between you, serpent, your seed, between you and the woman, between your seed and the seed of the woman. So a day man ate the tree of knowledge of good and bad, the man became the seed of serpent. We are seeing Cain, Cain is killing Abel, the manifestation of the seed of the serpent. That's why you see, when God look at it, he make a plan through the prophets how man will be turned to be a seed of God, to become a second Adam. So God want to create a second Adam because the first Adam has already lost and died. He's not existing. When you read even the book of Genesis chapter 3, and from verse number 22, we are seeing man is being cast out in the presence of God. Go away. Remember, remember when you read in the book of Matthew, chapter number 7, when you go 9, you see the father say, who is that father? When the child asks him a bread and he gives a stone or a fish and he gives a snake, if you utterly father knows how to feed your children with good food, how much more the heavenly father will feed you? And how comes in the garden of Eden, he casting man out? Then that's not a seed. That is the seed of the serpent. That's why being cast out in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Then God is planning how he can turn man to become a seed, the second Adam. Here come the second Adam that was prophesied with the prophets. How he can make the new covenant, this new covenant with Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31, 31, this new covenant was how man can be returned to be a child of God, the son of God. And it can only happen if the second Adam were born inside of him. We are seeing when the second Adam was being born, was born inside the first Adam, Jesus Christ, and Mary was found with the child of the Holy Spirit, not of men. So the second man is born inside the first man. Wow. 
for a count of sin that inside the first Adam to be removed. That's the book of Romans chapter 8. For a count of sin to be removed. Hallelujah. For a count of sin to be removed. That's why he's being born inside the first Adam. Jesus Christ came and said to speak to Nicodemus in the book of John chapter number one, chapter number three in verse number one. When John came, uh, uh, when uh, uh, Nicodemus came, John chapter three in verse number one, Nicodemus came and asked, he asked uh, Jesus, no one can do this miracle unless God is with him. First Adam who are made of the flesh cannot do miracle. Cannot heal, cannot raise the dead, cannot bring forth life because he's dead. Death, a dead thing can't move. A dead thing cannot bring life. It cannot do anything. It's dead. Because the manifestation of the first Adam is a manifestation of death. Evil is in them. Anger, strife, jealousy, killing, and glorizing. All man of fraud. Is in the first Adam. But the second Adam was born. He came from heaven. He was not made of dust. That's why Jesus Christ said, I came from heaven. I came from above. I'm not of the earth. Hallelujah. So to him, he gave forth life. The second Adam, Asa, the first Adam, gave forth life. That's you say, he told Nicodemus, you must be born of the Spirit, born of the second Adam. And how can man be born of the second Adam when he or she believed in Jesus Christ? Because Jesus Christ is the second Adam who came and be born inside the first Adam. He was not of the dust. That's why you see he, may, he bring forth life. You see, in his name, life comes. We are bare evidence as the child of Shalom. Uh, ministry, we have bare evidence. We have evidence that in the name of Jesus, we see life comes. That's why Jesus Christ said in the book of so the same John uh, uh, 3 and verse number 6, he told Nicodemus, a spirit can only give birth to a spirit, but the flesh give birth to a flesh. First Adam give birth to flesh. He give birth to first Adam. Second Adam, who is Jesus, give birth to a spirit in you, in your heart. As you are made of the first Adam, born of the first Adam, so shall it be made and born of the second Adam. Also us in us will bring forth life because the first Adam lives in us. You will bring forth life in you. That's why Jesus commissioned you in the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse number 7. He said, as you go preach, the kingdom of God has come. Heal the sick. Only second Adam can heal the sick. Can raise the dead. Not first one. And in Christ Jesus is where you become the second Adam. There's no way. As you become the first Adam inside the Adamic blood, so shall you be also inside Christ Jesus to become a second Adam that bring forth life. You see that? That's why you see a flesh give birth to flesh. A spirit give birth to a spirit. No wonder why Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 4, when read it 3, he said, A man shall not live by the bread alone, but by the word of God. Which means a second Adam lives by the word, which is the spirit. And the first Adam lives by the bread. But the second Adam bring forth life. Hallelujah. I take this opportunity as the children of God. Receive life. Receive life. You are marriage that is dying. Arise. Arise in the name of Jesus. Arise. You are marriage that is dying. Your business as a second Adam We give forth life. Receive life. Life, that's why crippled man walks, because Peter and John, they were born of the second Adam in him. Such I have in me, I give unto thee, 
arise and walk. I say, arise and walk. Arise, whatever you want. Arise in the name of Jesus. Receive life today in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Give us testimony what the Lord has done for you. Thank you.